As crazy as this sounds, I've come to the complete decision that I will never be uploading another design to Redbubble ever again. In fact, not just Redbubble, but pretty much any other print-on-demand site you can think of. In fact, the whole entire industry of print-on-demand I'll never be uploading to ever again. Now, to some people, that might sound like a complete shock. To other people, you might know exactly what I'm talking about. This shouldn't be a shock if you're in our members area. We've been talking about this. But if you're not, and you're listening to this for the first time, let me go ahead and explain what I'm talking about. In the past, I have had created over 1,500 plus print-on-demand videos, right? And and I've been through the ringer with print-on-demand. I've done everything from having negative experiences to positive experiences. And all I could say is that I've done the work. I've clocked in my hours. I've done, essentially, my due diligence in the print-on-demand world. And there's definitely money to be made both in the past and now. There's still money to be made. But something has changed. In the past few months, I have realigned my focus. Instead of working to make money or instead of taking a shovel and digging for the gold, virtually speaking online, what if I created machines that would dig the gold for me? That's essentially what I've been focused on for the past few months. If you've been watching my videos, you know what I'm talking about. Well, here, there's no difference. I've created machines now that will go ahead and upload and automate all of my designs for me to Redbubble and other sites. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I created this website here called printondemandautomation.com. And once again, for the people in my members area, this has not been some sort of secret. I've spoken about this publicly. And as you can see, currently, we have perfected Redbubble automation. So when I say Redbubble automation, what does that mean? From the designing and creation to tagging and titling to now even uploading all of that information on autopilot to Redbubble. Let me show you. So I do intend on including these future sites as a compatibility or an integration with printondemandautomation.com. And it's coming, it's coming sooner rather than later. Uh, but what I did want to do is I wanted to focus my time and energy. You can see this is the front end of the website. You can take your time to look through it if you happen to want to sign up. But the way this works is I have another machine within my members area for all my members called Design Sensei. Now, what Design Sensei could do is it can create literally hundreds, if not thousands, of designs for you in a matter of minutes on Design Sensei, both text only, image, image and text designs for you. Not only are they unique, but they also have some, some level of search demand, and they do generate income for our users. In fact, we have had multitude of users within the first week, and namely, many people within the first three days get sales using Design Sensei. But up until this point, right here, right now, today, people would have to take those pre-made designs from Design Sensei, those unique designs, and upload them manually. And there was a small shortcut within Design Sensei to send them com to Printify completely for free. Now, some of you may or may not know, but Printify is a phenomenal, I guess you could say, bridge to other platforms, like Amazon, for example, or like WooCommerce, or Shopify, where you can upload products that not only have designs, but they also have the infrastructure, meaning the actual physical product that can be shipped out for you through Printify. And that's a great thing. But there was something missing. What about the designs that go on Redbubble, Red uh, T Public, uh, Cafe Press? What if you're just uploading designs on WooCommerce, on things like that? How can we take those designs and essentially put them on these print-on-demand platforms. Well, that's why I created printondemandautomation.com. Let me go ahead and create an account right here, and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let me just pause my screen, and let me show you. So here I have my first account that I went ahead and created, and you can see here that it, I can upload a CSV, a, a regular spreadsheet. 
Here, of course, we have some formatting guides. I can go ahead and click on it, and you can read it throughout time. But essentially, this way this works is you upload both your images and your spreadsheet. Your spreadsheet is going to contain your tags, your title, basically everything, you know, like the text that needs the, the design needs. And then finally, you'll upload your images. Well, there's two ways you can upload that content. The first thing is you can create it yourself. Or the second thing, which is what I recommend, which is the smarter idea, is let AI do everything for you. Now, I want to be clear that everything you're seeing here is what I call the shotgun method to print on demand. There's two types of strategies. You have your shotgun method, you have your sniper method. The sniper method is a phenomenal way for anybody who's a complete beginner and who needs to simply learn print on demand algorithms. Now, I have taught in courses before on my website how to learn the algorithms of certain websites. In fact, I have a $40 course on the Redbubble algorithm and it's probably been my best course ever because I've helped so many people learn the Redbubble algorithm and get sales. But effectively, you want to do things manually first, but for the people who are finished doing things manually, you want to be able to automate the creation, aka the shotgun method. Basically, you're just cranking out designs and work every single day, and eventually things stick and things get sales. And especially if you're someone like me, where you have multiple things to do a day, and there are things that have bigger payoffs than print on demand, but you don't want to leave print on demand entirely, that's when it's time to delegate to an AI tool. So I created, like I said, Design Sensei. Now Design Sensei isn't something that is unheard of. You guys know about this. I created this tool months ago, and what this tool does is it creates designs for us. So for example, I can pick any kind of topic here. So for example, I'll pick, you know, Jesus Christ Bible quotes, right? And I could pick a little sample output if I want. I, in this case, I won't just for, you know, the sake of this video. I'll hit generate. It will generate certain Bible quotes. I will then take, and you can see here, nice little short Bible quotes. I'll take the picture, click on it. And then whenever I click on one of these Bible quotes, that's effectively the design. Now, of course, I could do things like I could change my font so I could go with this old English font. I can create an outline so I can make my outline, for example, like a, a light blue color, right? So I might go with something like this. I can increase the font size, make it look a little bit bigger, increase the outline size. There's a lot of things I could do to customize this thing. But the point is, is I have these designs, right? I can increase my image size. I could decrease the gap between the text and the image. Might even want to increase the font a little bit larger. But you get the point, right? It's nothing too crazy here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export all of these designs. But before I do, I want to generate a description, title, tags, and I need a file name, of course, because I'm going to upload this system into my application here, right? And this, what this is going to do is this is going to, like I said, upload the creation phase for me. So I'm going to go over here. Let's say I just collect, uh, click a bunch of long tail keywords. I might keep my creativity at a high level, and I might just want simply five tags per per design here. And I'm going to click generate titles and tags. And within a short period of time, it's going to generate these titles and tags for me. Now, Design Sensei, AI Design Sensei, is a members area tool, okay? This doesn't really have anything to do with this tool here, the POD automation, printondemandautomation.com. However, if you are a member, you have free access to Design Sensei. You take the content that's being created, and you can see here everything is created for you. You just click Export All. And now what you're downloading is you're downloading all the designs, and you're also downloading all the text to go along with it. In fact, if I open this up here, we can see here I have images and I have the text. So I can click on the images and all the designs are here. And I can go over here and it's time to now upload these things. So I'll go over here, click choose file to the CSV, and I'll pick that very same CSV file. So I'll go over here to my downloads, click on it, click on the CSV and click open. And then what I'm going to do is I click upload. And you could see here it's uploading. It says, please. So you can see here the spreadsheet is added. And in order to add the images, I just go over here, click choose images, pick the actual images by highlighting, click open. And then once I click that, it will load every single image here for me. So I can click on any of these images, which are my t-shirt designs. 
click on them, you could see the t-shirt design, you could see the text, you could see the images. Of course, by the way, if anybody's curious, if they didn't want this image, they can go ahead within Design Sensei and pick any image they want. In fact, they can upload their very own image, right? So I usually recommend upload your own image. This is just a simple uh, image to just show you how things look, right? Nothing more than that. And then now that we have our images here, it's time to actually start the automation process. Well, in order to do that, we have a Chrome extension here. We're going to click download extension. After we click that download extension, we're going to open up the file. We're going to drag and drop the file here to our extension section within Chrome. So we have here this extension section. We just click on extensions, manage extension. We drag and drop it here, and then it's completely finished. We have it installed. Let's go ahead and click on that extension. And now it's time to sign in to that extension for us. So I'm going to type in my email. And after I type in my email, I'm going to type in my password. All right, great. So you could see here that my exact account is matched and it's identified because I have my email here after logging in and I have my credit count here which matches the exact amount of credits here. So every single one that I upload uh, or design that I upload counts as two credits. So in this case, I'll be able to upload 300 images uh, or 300 designs rather. And since this is just a first run, anybody who joins, we're going to add bonus amounts of credits to every single person's account uh, who joins. But once again, this is not something you have to pay monthly for. This is just something that you add credits to when you feel like you want some automation done for you. And so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go over here and click Install Automation Tool. Okay, great. So here is my back end of my Redbubble account. It shows my creations, it shows how many sales I got, it pretty much shows everything here. Now it's time that I have to actually add uh, my, uh, you know, a duplicate design URL. So the way this works is, first I have to take a design and I have to duplicate it. So I might find a design like this one, I'll click copy settings, and I'll just copy the URL at the top here, and I'll just paste it here. Now, the reason why I'm pasting it is because I want my AI to essentially follow this design style. And every single design that it uploads of the few that I'm requesting it to upload, since right now I have five in my account that I'm requesting it to upload, it will upload those for me. So, you can see here, I'll just click Sync from Website, and it will say Syncing Designs from Server. That server is your very own account. In my case, I have five designs loaded. And we can go over here into my account and we can see those exact same five are right here. And then we can head over to this start button, start automated upload. I'll just go ahead and click that. And from that point on, that's it. Everything else will be taken for me. My design will be uploaded. My uh, tags, title, description will be uploaded for me. And it will go from image to image to image being uploaded on all these various Redbubble products. This tool is going to work the same way for T Public. It's going to work the same way for Redbubble. It's going to work the same way for pretty much every single site. Now, in my case, I probably have some parts blurred of this, but you can see it's typing everything that it needs to type right now as we speak. Uh, it's selecting the I agree, and then it's going ahead and submitting the actual design. And once it's submitted, we'll see the new design right here. So there we go. It says process completed. The design is submitted. I don't need these designs to be added on my actual account, so I'm going to click stop here. And once we click stop, I'm going to go ahead and head over to my profile and see if that design is truly there. So I'll go over here, head over to my account, I'll click shop all on my um, newest section. So I'll find the newest one here, and then I will look for it. And let's go ahead and see this design here. And there it is, okay? This is the same exact design that we had earlier, that Jesus Saves design. Now, for those who are curious, this design is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. It's transparent. It's got, once again, both text and image. So I encourage everybody listening that before you go ahead and you go out and create certain things like this or certain designs like this, make sure you add the right images you want through Design Sensei, Make sure if you want to add your own custom font 
to Design Sensei, you go ahead and do that. And also, don't be afraid to be creative with your research, pick different kinds of niches for the AI to pick from, but that's essentially how it works, right? If we click here, Sync from Website, you'll notice that since we already uploaded that image, we now have four designs loaded. In fact, if we head over back to our account, which I will go ahead and head over to right now, let's go ahead and go to it. This was our account on printondemandautomation.com. So let's go there. Let's click get started. Let's click sign in here. If we head over there, let's log in. We can see the four new designs that are here. That one that we posted, it's gone now, right? So it's deleted off of the server, never to be seen ever again. And there it is. So that's essentially how you use this tool. Now, once again, this tool is very, very beginner. Um, this is literally version one. I don't want to say beginner, but it's version one. And version two will come out probably in the next few days where we add T public. We're going to be connecting this with um, different kinds of apps. Like I said, we're going to probably connect this to Printify for a little bit more in-depth Printify connections. But if we go over here to the home page, I want to show you, we have a few things that we do want to add. We want to add this to Spring. We want to add it to Cafe Press. I wholeheartedly believe that you know using AI as an automational tool it can drastically help us and that's what I'm going for so this is a two-part piece right here POD or print-on-demand automation is the tool that automates the uploading for you design sensei is the thing that automates the creation for you in your case you might be creating them like crazy fast already well if you already create designs crazy fast you don't need design sensei or our members area you can sign into the application right you can upload your csv file you can upload all your images as well and then you can get to uploading right away what inspired me to get through with finishing this application even though i was working on it in the past is somebody recently about a month ago told me that their main bottleneck the main thing that was slowing them down was having to do all the manual uploading for print on demand so i took power into my own hands and I said, let me finish the app that I've been working on for a while that allows me to automate the uploading application process, essentially uploading print-on-demand design process, excuse me, to these sites so we don't have to do it manually any longer. Okay, so once again, to be clear, printondemandautomation.com helps with the automational uploading of the assets that you have. And the assets are two-part components, both your CSVs, and your images okay and once you essentially upload there's nothing else that you have to do but before that happens the designs actually have to be created and if you're anything like me and you don't feel like creating designs anymore that's what design sensei is for once again you can upload your very own images to design sensei all right you can upload your own fonts you can use your own AI research and create your own designs but Everything's built in here for you. So if you want to get access to Design Sensei, then you have to join our members area. Uh, but you don't have to join our members area if you want to use printondemandautomation.com. If you want to use printondemandautomation.com, we have all the different tutorials and guides right inside the application for you. All you do is click on any of these buttons anywhere that you see them. They have instructions on how to install. We have instructions on how to format your spreadsheet. Uh, literally we have instructions on everything, you know, uh, so anything you need, you can even download a template here of our spreadsheet, uh, so that you can, you know, upload yourself if that's what you want to do. And that's assuming you don't want to use design sensei, but as for me, this is exactly what I'm doing now for print on demand. It's just a matter of days until we get T public going. So it'll be Redbubble and T public. And then soon we'll add Spring to the equation. We'll add Cafe Press to the equation. Then we'll do a, a Printify uh, connection. And once we do the Printify connection, it will put those designs on products. Once we get those products connected, then we could put them on WooCommerce. We could put them on Shopify. And then from there, we could create all kinds of automated stores, automated designs. So pretty powerful here that we're using the power of machines to literally automate our work for us and we could live basically a carefree life. So I think that's pretty cool. And that's something that I've been working on. So enjoy, guys. If you have questions, put them in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Peace out. Bye.